Well, the Dow Jones Industrial ended Friday by declining for the first time in 10 days with the rise over the last two weeks. The Dow has set record highs. So should you put your faith and money into the stock market? Nick Schumann with Hefty Wealth uh, is here now. Should people at home, Nick, watching with confidence, uh, should they uh, have confidence in investing into the market right now? A huge question, Adam. And, and really, um, there's two sides to that tale. You look at what the markets have done over the last really a couple years, 18 months or so, they have done really well. They've gone up, a lot of money to be made, excellent momentum, that's always a positive thing. But on the other hand, what's fueling it? You know, it, it truly feels artificial. And, and the thing that everyone goes back to and points to is what we are doing from monetary policy, printing a lot of money. It, it does feel like we have lit the fuse on the dynamite. And, and eventually that fuse burns down and then uh, boom goes the dynamite. So that, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when, and no one knows that answer yet. So to answer your question, should you have confidence, that yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no there. So I guess that gets to do these highs really mean so much. They do. They really do. You can't, you can't ignore it, and it all depends on what you have been doing up until this point. So each person's path is what I always talk about. Know where you are is different. If you've been into this, and you've been running with it, you've been making some money, that's different than if you've been sitting on the sidelines and just been nervous about it, not knowing when to, to jump in, you got to make sure you have the right path in place for you getting into that. And getting back to really the two sides of this, and when you look at the bull case, though, there are some good things. And, and the thing that I point out to people right now is, yes, we pushed past 14,000 points on the Dow, but from inflation standpoint, it's actually, we need to get to 15.7 to be back to the same numbers that we were in 2000. That's bull case. It does give you some room for growth in with that. Gotcha. So we're still nowhere close to, a, to an all-time high. Is that right? Um, when factoring in inflation, we aren't. There, that's, that's one interesting way to be able to look at it. The other, the other thing that I also, also like to point out is P.E. ratios, the price-to-earning ratio right now, is extremely cheap. It is... 40% lower than it was in 2000, and that is a good bull case piece for you to, to lean on, to know, to have that confidence. Uh, it just depends on how much weight you want to put into that side of it, the technical side, the fundamental side with monetary policy. And Nick, what do these type of gains mean uh, uh, for consumer confidence? Are people confident right now in the market? Uh, I would say actually these gains means everyone is going to be more confused than before because of the artificial side, but yet the markets keep going up and we have said we're going to continue to print money all the way into 2015, $85 billion per month. So everyone should be confused and that's where people like myself, Hefty Wealth Partners comes in so we can help you know where your place is, what your plan says, and start to have a defined uh, strategy to enter if you're in or maybe to get out or to ease out if you've been in and running up with this. It just depends on which side you're on. All right, Nick. Well, hey, thanks for joining yeah, us on First pleasure. News Saturday, and uh, we'll have more coming up after the break.